Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Mary Maxine. Today I am back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my natural hair journey throughout my college years. I'm still currently in college. I'm a junior in college and I've been in college for about four years. And I just wanted to share with you guys my trials and tribulations as a natural in college and what I have learned. So yeah, if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and comments in the comment section. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And without any further ado, we're just going to hop into the video right now. Okay, so I entered college fall 2015. So the summer before I entered college, I was often doing things like box braids, as you can see. And when my hair wasn't box braided, I used to wand curl my hair and my hair was severely damaged. I love the look that the wand curls gave me and I love the color of my hair, but my hair was not healthy. It was really stringy and fried. I recall one time my friend in college had straightened my hair and the ends of my hair were so fried, like it didn't even want to straighten. It was so crispy. And as you can see in this picture, that's a result of getting my hair straightened. My hair in the front did not revert back. It was really stringy and damaged. So that led to me dyeing my hair black in fall 2015. So this was October. I remember I was like, I need to cut off that dyed part. I need to re-dye my hair back black because it was looking so stringy, so damaged when it was colored and the red color actually faded into a copper color. So I ended up dyeing my hair back black and often to hide the front of my hair, what I like to do was wear hats. So most of the time, like that fall 2015 semester, when I had my hair in a braid out or a twist out, I would wear a hat to cover up the front of my hair because it was really damaged and the curls just never bounced back. As you can see in this picture a little bit, the front of my hair is so stringy, so lifeless. Like there was just no, and nothing to it. There was a lot of frizz going on as well because of the split ends that I had. My hair was just very unhealthy and I wasn't able to do much with my hair because of the state it was in, which led to me wearing a lot of buns throughout like that semester of college. So often I had my hair in buns just to hide the fact that my hair was damaged. And now looking back at it, I think that kind of caused more damage to my hair because I wasn't moisturizing my hair. I was literally just putting it inside buns every single day and going. And the result of that was my hair being really stringy and it just had no life to it. There was a phase or a point in time, this was the winter of 2015, where I was often doing a lot of twist outs and then wearing my hair in a puff, just to hide the fact that my hair did not look good down. It was so stringy and lifeless. So I ended up just doing a lot of puffs just to kind of like blend my hair in a little bit and to make it look like it was fuller because my hair was really thin and it was really like damaged and it was breaking off a lot. And then I went into protective style mode. So that same winter I was trying different protective styles. So this was a two strand twist type of style. I went and got my hair um, faux locks. So I got faux locks that same winter. This was actually around my birthday. So, you know, I'm a Scorpio, Scorpio babe, whatever. But I got faux locks for the first time just so that I could protect my hair. And I was loving the faux locks. They were a little too heavy for my head. That's the only complaint that I had about them. But for the most part, I really like them and I like styling them. So as you can see, I put my hair in a nice bun because I was feeling myself or whatever. And after doing the faux locks, I decided that I wanted to try crochet. So I got the jumbo crochet twist. I was loving this because it was so soft, so bouncy. And then I went back to doing faux locks again. And when I wasn't wearing my hair in protective styles, I was wrapping it up in a turban and leaving my hair twisted or braided underneath just to protect my hair and just so that my hair wasn't exposed to the cold air. So that's something that I was doing often. Here's a picture of me again going back to wand curling my hair because you know, your girl does not listen. I don't know why I went back to wand curling my hair because I learned my lesson when it was dyed. So why would I go back to doing it? I, Honestly, I feel like it's because like I just liked how my hair looked. I had those soft, bouncy curls and it just framed my face so well. So yeah, for Christmas, I had wand curled my hair and that was like the last point, honestly. I was just over how damaged my hair looked. So I started a new beginning. My second semester of college, I decided to do something bold. I decided to cut off most of my hair. 
So that spring semester, I did a tapered haircut where the left side of my hair, I left a lot of hair. The right side was really short and I completely shaved the back of my hair off. And I was really loving this look. It framed my face so well and it just added so much like character to like myself, I guess. Like I just liked how it made me look. And this was actually summer um, 2016. So as you can see, like my hair started to grow out. Honestly, after I cut my hair, my hair grew back so quickly. Like I couldn't even enjoy like that tapered haircut that I first initially got because it just grew out like so fast. So I kind of let my hair do its own thing. So after my tapered haircut started to grow out, it became very difficult for me to style my hair. So I decided that it was time for me to do something drastic and I decided to do a big chop. So the winter of 2016, I cut off all of my hair and this is actually around the time where I started my YouTube channel. So I cut off all my hair because I wanted to show you guys that I was ready to start and embark on a new natural journey. And this was my hair in spring of 2017. So as you can see, my hair was growing out and it grew out to the point where I was able to put my hair in a nice little puff. That was a struggle puff, by the way. This was my hair when I just freshly did a twist out. This is another picture of a twist out. I think like during this stage of time, I was always doing twist outs because it was just easy for me to do that. And this was actually my first braid out that I did. This is a picture of me when I did finger coils on my hair. This is a picture of like finger coils again. But I was trying to like style my hair and do a whole bunch of different things. And then summer 2017 came and that summer honestly was all about puffs. If I didn't have a puff, then I wasn't myself. Like I honestly wore so many puffs that summer. It's crazy. Like it's really crazy how much puffs I had. And then my fall 2017 semester, I did a lot of protective styles. So as you can see, I put my hair in a lot of buns because it was just so easy and it lasted me a good three days without me having to refresh my hair. So I was constantly doing that. This was my birthday last year. So November 8th, that was my birthday. My friend had did a nice um, crochet style for me for my birthday. And I wore it like that for about like three weeks and my hair grew y'all. My hair literally grew. This was another protective style that I did. I had did cornrows straight back because I wanted to give my hair a break. And yeah, that semester I did a lot of protective styles because I wanted to grow my hair out and see how long it could grow out. Winter 2017, y'all, I was seeing so much growth in my hair. I was able to do a whole bunch of different styles. I did braid outs, I did twist outs, I did puffs. As you can see, my hair was literally out here flourishing, y'all. And my favorite time of like my hair growth journey was spring 2018 because I was experimenting with my styles. So I did cornrows. I started doing more and more wash and goes. I honestly loved doing wash and goes because of the volume that I was able to create with my hair. So these couple of pictures that you're looking at are wash and goes. And then here I dabbled with color guys. Don't, don't hate me or nothing like that. I dyed my hair and I wore my hair in a lot of twist outs and stuff. Summer 2018 was my summer to experiment with different hairstyles. I did traditional hairstyles like high puffs, um, braid outs, twist outs. But I also like to try different styles such as this one right here. Um, I did this. This was a nice protective style that I did. And then when that got old, I turned it into this. I did like flat twists with a braid out. You know, I was trying all these different things with my hair because it was long enough for me to switch up my look. And I love that about my natural hair. I embrace my natural hair. This was my first time doing my own crochet. I wore it to curl fest, as you can see, and I was loving it. I lived for it. This was me in Mexico. I wore my hair natural, and this was the this was me the first day of school. Of course, I was natural. I've always been natural. This is my big, gigantic puff that I've been rocking as of lately. I love it. And this is just me chilling inside my room. But as you guys can see, my natural hair journey has come a long way. I have embraced my hair. I have tried different styles and I love the woman that I am becoming as well as I love how my hair is looking. It's healthy, it's juicy, and there's just so much different styles that I can try. And this is my hair now, as you guys can see. My hair is long, it's healthy. There's a lot of shrinkage, but it's doing its own thing. I would like to thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. Comments in the comment section. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate you guys sticking throughout this whole video and seeing my journey. I want you guys to know that it only gets better.
Darling, do 